Hello guys, this is Gushy Gaming here and today I'm back again with another Girls X Battle video. Here we're gonna clear out chapter 12. Well, let, I really wonder what is the story of chapter 12. Let's find out. Okay, this is Hottie. <laughs> There's so many students attending the class today. And then Sonya. Eh, they're just there for ability practice, Hottie. Don't you ever think of it? And Guan Yin. And we're here to ensure you we won't scare them. Uh, senpai, can you hear that? Hear what? My heartbeat. I feel your love by caring. Let me train you and repay. Don't be afraid. It's the training of love. Wait. Uh, I'm not prepared. Uh oh. Looks like I'm in the class and... And this is my training. Okay. It's good to have an exercise like this. Uh, not for me. That was too close. Alright. Someone clapped her hands from the back. Or out back. And it's Ethel. It's an excellent practice. Ethel? President! Wow, I really wonder what Ethel's doing there. Okay, let's see chapter 2. President? Don't be too surprised. I just reclaimed my title. Then, what about Saint? Eh, she has a secret mission. Again? Uh, but surely it's Saint style. I would say that Saint might be... Might be out, and I would say Ethel might be like a temporary president. In my opinion. As your president, I'm impressed. So, let's begin a second round. Why? <sighs> it's worth to try. I'm getting excited. Huh? Let's begin now. Anyone who wants to join us, just step in. But wait, I'm not ready yet. The enemies won't provide time for your, for your, to prepare. Okay, that sentence doesn't make sense. Not, not for the grammar. And we're taking the fairies. Okay. Is that really necessary? We're not against each other. Consider it a drop quiz. That's the one we should call a walking legend. Outstanding. Okay, let's see chapter three. Okay, apparently in recent updates, like a lot of girls is gonna gonna talk all over the all over the game. You didn't take that seriously. Are you available now? What? I'm busy if you're here for the terror figure issue. Relax. I won't do that again. Again? What have you done last time? Secret between Senpai and Ethel? I heard Ethel was having a fight here. Me too. And all the girls? That's also what we've heard. Like, all together. Don't know, we're just fighting. <sighs> Crazy fans. Thanks for your support. Now, please let me have some private talk with your senpai. Okay, what are we going to talk with Ethel about? I want you to join me to Grand Library Ulbrich. Come again? The biggest library in campus. Grand Library Elbrith. I can't pronounce that. Never heard of it. But it has been there since the academy is first built. Unbelievable. Why no one knows that? Because it's forbidden? No matter what. Beep. Intruder detected. Unauthorized personnel is not allowed to enter when during the library is closed. Please leave immediately. Ethel. You must be an authorized personnel, right? 
Mm, yes, I am. Good to know that. But you're not. What do you mean exactly? And Dreadot refers to leave the property, engaging... Oh, I'm gonna fight the Guardians. Attack. Failed. <gasps> you finally made it! Ethel, are you just standing there? I have faith in you. Now, let's move forward. Okay. want to see what's inside the library of Ulbrich. Okay, that's what it looks like. It looks like a bit of a maze here in the circle. Is this really a library? It's more like a labyrinth. Intruder detected. Okay, here we go again. Another guardian. Defense protocol activated. Please, I don't want to fight anymore. Can you show me the way out? Question confirmed. Default answer applied. Negative. Okay, here we go again. Wipe out. It's bigger than it appears to be. Either way, I don't want to be detected by those guardians anymore. So, this must be a labyrinth called Library. How long have I been in here? It must have been more than a week. How can I get out? Okay. That's Valera, I guess. Actually, it's more like one day. Who said that? It's more polite to identify yourself first. I'm... But before that, show me what you got. Try to defeat the Ultra Guardian. Oh, that was easy. Is that enough? I thought you just need my name. Haha, <laughs> that was just an excuse. But I have to admit, you did good. Ethel wasn't lying. But why you don't say something? I just don't want to give you another excuse. Well, but Ethel didn't mention you are also very interesting. You can call me Valera. And I'm the creator of Gla Grand Library Ilbrick. Congratulations, you have passed my test. Valera? Are you also a student? Never thought you would skip the part of the test. Don't just judge me f from the appearance. I also experienced the first invasion. There's also rumors in campus. Something like the Valkyrie in Legend. Valera fought by me side in the first invasion. Ethel, when did you get there? Always. Huh? Whatever. This must be another test. By the way, what's the first... Invasion. Don't you know that? You must have forgotten that. As you know, after the war, many chose to forget about it. Huh. The war meant everything about happy. This is the best choice. Only few of us chose to remember. After the first invasion is over, we followed the command of Lee and built Yume Academy. Then I transferred my leadership to Saint and left the campus to find an answer. An answer for what? You will know that later. Okay, I'm still working on believing that, but... What do you really want to do? Well, that's interesting. Okay, Valeria said, After the first invasion, I took my time to find the truth about Philosopher's Stone. I believe it is the stone seal left to us before he perished. So? Everything happened before. It was just going with someone's plan. And the goal for the plan is to refine the stone. Huh? 
You've got to be kidding me. We're very serious about this. Let me introduce you the terror figure. Well, let's see what it looks like. Nah, they're just monsters. I've fought this thing before. But stronger than the one Ethel showed me. The one you mentioned was just a counterfeit. That was just a test. And this is a real terror? Whatever it is. Of course. Not the real terror figure. It's much stronger. Then why is terror figure related to the Philosopher's Stone? I think it can be used to summon more terror figures. So I think it's necessary to let me and Ithil to rebuild a defense system to protect Philosopher's Stone. Well, the question is how will they do that? So be it. I'm glad you're on our side, but don't believe anyone as easily again. I can sense your genuineness. You won't lie to me on this. Thanks, you can say that again. Plus, if you're really my enemy, you just need to get what you want with force. You've talked too much. Trust is the basic of cooperation. And I believe you. You're the living legends. Though something happened and made the legend unknown by many. Okay, and another room. One week later. Ta-da! Complete! Impressive! Please give the compliment on details. Accompanied by the marvelous magic of Valera, Ethel's design of the defense line, flawless. Now, it covers every corner of this area, but no one can get close to it without notice. Actually, we still have one thing left to do. What do you mean? Um, we will need to prove this will work. I'll leave this job on you. Assemble some girls you trust and attack here. Knowledge is a treasure, but practice is key to it. Uh, okay. So it looks like a simulation thing. So, here I am. I got it, Senpai. Leave that to me. Eh, we'll do our best. Just watch your, your back out there, as I know. The first sign of defense is... Terror figure. Okay. Looks like we passed that one. Okay, congratulations! You have passed the first defense line. Ethel! It's our honor to aid you. <laughs> Thank you, let's proceed. Here is the second line of defense. Me! Which is Ethel herself. What? This time it's for real. Taste the power of space. Okay, looks like we're fighting Ethel. Except Ethel isn't here. As you know, she is a real girl to put on your squad. So Quora said, That's how your ability works? Amazing! Don't you feel pain when you got hit? Alright. <laughs> Go test the third line of defense. Valera has been waiting for a long time. Okay. It'll be the thing if it completely works. Okay, Valera, she changed her appearance. Hello, welcome. So cute, is she really our senior? Aquarius, don't say that to a senior. Don't worry, I like what she's saying. But, is she qualified? Um, uh, it's time to let you know the power of the curator of Grand Library Ilbrick. Elementaris, Valera! 
Okay, now we're fighting Valera. As you know, she's also a girl you can put in her squad. She's too strong. We're outmatched. She's surely the master of elements. She could control the elements, even the matter, so easily. Just like it has become her instinct. Oh, let's see if we can actually pass Valera in the final page. Okay, as though she changed her appearance again. We still have a lot of work to do to reach what the seniors had achieved. The weak won't survive from that, that war, but I see potential in you. I have a question. Why Philosopher's Stone is wanted by someone? I don't know how it pairs, but we had a tough battle before that. Um, fine, let me tell you the story. During the first invasion, after I defeated the Chaos Legend with Ethel at the Valley of the Beginning, we met her. Who? Okay, it's a memory. Enigma. Do you know about this valley? Nope. Here used to be known as the Monument of Boundaries. The Monument of Boundaries? This is the place where the first generation of life were bred. Some believe there's a code of the life hidden there. So, this is the land of the beginning. Are you sure about this? Ethel, let's go and check it out. Oh, so this is like a memory. And memory ended. What did Ethel see? Just some meaningless codes. She led Ethel to the codes on purpose. I spent a lot of time on cracking the code. And the result was surprising. It's this information about singularity. Singularity? It's the key information for the teleportation. With that, the main force of Chaos Legend will be able to maneuver secretly to the back of United Force. According to that theory, the traitor who caused the annihilation of the United Force, Enigma herself. Who is she? She died in that war. But there was no proof to that. But her sword! That's just a weapon belonged to Enigma. No one found her body. The entire camp was destroyed. There was no survivors. I told you, her body is not found. And we all know, everything is not over yet. Ethel, calm down. Oh no, is it going to be a fight between the two? Yes? No? Sorry, I was for these years, I just want to know the answer to my questions. Is Enigma the traitor? Why she reminds me of the information of Singularity? Why she betrayed us? Hmm, that's an interesting question. We'll find out in the next chapter, chapter 13. Well, looks like I'm gonna end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.